This is your daily reminder not to install some random extension on your browser. Be very careful which browser extensions you install. Now you may know this, but what about your family members? As an example, perhaps they want to have a browser extension that gives them a free VPN or privacy. Well, here's an example from the Hacker News. Featured Chrome browser extension caught intercepting millions of users' AI chats. And this is not just a extension with a few thousand installs. Urban VPN proxy has 6 million users in the Chrome web store. Koi AI wrote about this and they say 8 million users AI conversations sold for profit by privacy extensions. Notice it also has the featured badge from Google. So it follows recommended practices for Chrome extensions. So you need to be careful with this kind of thing. So it had passed manual review and met what Google describes as a high standard of user experience and design. So this is a free VPN promising privacy and security, exactly the kind of tool someone installs when they want to protect themselves online. But when they took a closer look, that's not what's happening. They found that it targeted conversations across 10 AI platforms such as ChatGPT, Claw, Gemini, Copilot, DeepSeek, Grok, etc. For each platform, the extension includes a dedicated executor script designed to intercept and capture conversations. The harvesting is enabled by default through hard-coded flags in the extensions configuration, as you can see here. There is no user-facing toggle to disable this. The only way to stop the data collection is to uninstall the extension entirely, and it operates independently of VPN functionality. It doesn't matter if the VPN is connected or not, it's going to harvest your data and runs continuously in the background. Go and have a look at the Koi AI blog if you want to learn more about this. But basically, it's script injection into AI platforms. It's monitoring your browser tabs. When you go to one of those websites, it's going to harvest your information. It overrides native browser functions such as fetch and XML HTTP request, as you can see here. It then passes the intercepted API responses and extracts the conversation data, your prompts, AI responses, timestamps, conversation IDs. The exact list of data captured by the extension is prompts entered by the user, chat bot responses, conversation identifiers and timestamps, session metadata, AI platform and model used. And then it does exfiltration via a background worker. In other words, it takes your information and collects that information. Every prompt you send to the AI is captured, every response you receive, conversation identifiers and timestamps, session metadata, the specific AI platform and model used. I personally would be really careful about browser extensions. In a previous video, I mentioned that and some people were upset by what I said. But moral of the story is be very careful about browser extensions that you install. Here's another example. But what's your experience? Do you use this browser extension? Do you recommend certain browser extensions? Let me know in the comments.